Well, here in Gdansk for the final day of competition, I've been your host, Ted Barton, along with Mark Hanruddy, and he is my new interview here. Mark, this is your first year on the Junior Grand Prix. You've done a fantastic job. It's been so much fun working with you. Uh, we've seen some really interesting skating, and you've been to some special uh, visits, special towns and competitions. I've worked this from home. What are your impressions, your thoughts on your first Junior Grand Prix season? So many thoughts, so many impressions, and having previously commentated on senior events, it was fascinating to see how unique the Junior Grand Prix circuit is. And I have loved being in an environment that seems so, so supportive, and skating, you know, it's a solitary pursuit, it, it has an element of dog-eat-dog, -dog. and yeah, I'm really conscious here that there's a family of sorts all encouraging the very personal best of each and every skater, and it's really been a joy, and I feel now as we head towards the latter stages of the Junior Grand Prix, a real eagerness to see these athletes continue to develop and I'm excited to see what will happen for their futures. Now, do you have any highlight moments that uh, you experienced? It doesn't have to be a competitive moment, but um, any highlights for yourself? I think it's wonderful to be able to have the opportunity to either congratulate some of the skaters who have been brilliant or there have been a couple of little occasions when I've known that a skater has had one of those horrible performances where they just feel crestfallen and despondent and then as we rush to grab a coffee I've maybe seen them in the skater's lounge afterwards and the chance to personally say to them, it's okay, been there, done that, you know, your, your life goes on, it, that's, I've really, really enjoyed the ability to, to give some personal support to them as well, that's been a highlight I think for me. Yeah, I think that was one of the things I've enjoyed the most over the first uh, seven years that we did this, is that it wasn't about covering the event only, it was about contributing to that journey with those athletes and helping them through the tough moments and celebrating through the great moments. And, and it is a big family here, and you can feel that camaraderie. So, um, now looking forward, what's the difference between commentating in the juniors here and commentating in the seniors? Oh, well, the senior events... Be careful. Yeah, <laughs> the senior events are definitely easier to commentate on. You don't have what seems like the double marathon. We had 48 women in this event here, 49 women compete in the junior free skate last week, and that's like two free skates at Senior World Championships put together. So that in itself was pretty intense. Um, the seniors, we, can, we know what to expect a little bit more. These are athletes that we've... Uh, watch for numerous seasons so we know what's coming this has excitement because it is so unpredictable and uh, but I look forward to seeing the seniors and hopefully what will be a year that starts some new exciting names on the senior circuit at the beginning of a new Olympic cycle well as you continue on of course these juniors will become the seniors that you cover as well that's what I look forward to and the seniors is all those skaters in the senior circuit we've covered in juniors for years so it's kind of fun to watch their whole journey this is the first year of the journey of these young juniors for you so Mark you've done an outstanding job you've been great research you're constantly researching you're asking people questions <laughs> you're just <laughs> all over the place getting more information and I know you have a passion for the juniors as do I and so it's been a great pleasure thank you so much for being part of the junior Junior Grand Prix. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Mark Henry, Ted Barton from Gdansk. <laughs>